Another InDesign quick tip by Fatfly Design. When placing images from Photoshop or Illustrator into InDesign, you go to File, Place, or Command D, and then you find your image and hit OK, and you place it. So this is from Illustrator. I'm going to place a second one in here from Photoshop. Okay, so I've got both of these placed in here. Now, by default, InDesign links to these. And what I mean is, if we go to our Window Links panel, this is a panel you should be familiar with in InDesign. This talks about all your placed images. So every image that you place in here is linked. And what I mean by linked is, in InDesign, this is just sort of a low resolution placeholder or graphic that we see so we can compose it with our text in InDesign. But the actual information, the full res version of this, is over in the original Illustrator file or the original Photoshop file. There's advantages to linking and there's disadvantages to linking. But by default, they're linked. As a designer, you have to be aware of this and know what linking means. So this came from a file named linked versus embedded illustrator.ai and it's in a specific location on my computer and InDesign re retains that link. If I were to go find this file on my computer and rename it or move it, it would break that link. And with a broken link, if I tried to print it, then it wouldn't print correctly. So let's see what that looks like. So I'm going to take this illustrator file. It's right here. And InDesign knows where it is. And I'm going to simply move it out of that folder. Now when I come back into here, suddenly you'll notice this red question mark. It says it's missing. It means that I've moved it or renamed it somewhere. And we know I just moved it. So I would have to relink that. So I could double click on that. And then it says, hey, I want access to your files. OK. Then I need to find that. And it's setting right here. And hit open. And OK. And as long as that's the exact same file, it relinked it, and now it thinks it's in that new location. So you have to be very careful about moving those or renaming those, because it can break that link. And then you have to manually go in and relink it. And that can be some work. Now, if it's just on a one-page document and I only have one or two images, it's not really that big a deal. But quite often in InDesign, I'm working on books that might be 32 pages long. I may have over 100 images placed in here, and it's real easy to accidentally move things around or rename them and break those links. So there's another option. We could embed those as well. So I could come into here. I could select this on my desktop. It highlights it here in my links panel. And I could go to embed link. And notice now that it has this icon. So it's no longer linked to this original file over here on my computer. It is now embedded in here. And all the information for that file is embedded. You don't need to worry about keeping track of all those all over your computer. However, there's one big disadvantage of this. If I have a large document with many placed images, by embedding it, my file size increases dramatically. So if I have a lot of Photoshop images that are high resolution and, and large in size, every time I embed one of those, it just increases the size of my InDesign file, which could slow down my working and and cause other problems. I am a big fan of linked images, and it's just my responsibility as a designer to make sure I manage those. So I always create a project folder and a folder to contain all of my images that I'm going to place into my InDesign file. So I suggest linking your files. If you ever rename or move it, you're going to have to go back and relink those files. Now I've seen a couple other circumstances of people doing this. So I have this here in Illustrator. And I went to InDesign File Place. But I've seen people drag and drop. I've seen people copy and paste from Illustrator into InDesign. Now, with an Illustrator file, it's not a terrible thing to do. But it does embed that. But Illustrator files are typically fairly small, so that's not a huge concern. But it does not show up here in my Links panel if I take that approach. So if I go to File Place, it will. If I just drag and drop or copy and paste, it will not. I can also do the same thing with a Photoshop image. 
I can drag and drop it into here as well. It will not show up in my links file, so it's essentially embedding it into here. I've greatly increased the size of my InDesign file, and I can't really manage it here in my links panel. So I believe it's a best practice to not drag and drop or copy and paste from Photoshop into InDesign or from Illustrator into InDesign. I always go to File, Place, which is Command-D, and I link those files, being sure to manage those files on my computer. Thanks for watching this InDesign quick tip. I hope it was helpful. If you like what you saw, please hit like and subscribe below. Also, if you get a chance, visit my website at fatflydesign.com.